News for the upcoming months of Halo Infinite are going to be coming out this week and it's going to be very important. Community director Sketch did say this last week that they're coming from their cocoon and putting together an update for next week, which would be this week to go over what to expect for the several months moving forward. Once we're fully into a regular seasonal development cadence, we'll have more to regularly show and tell. This is also a bit of a response to a lot of the leaks that have been happening for Halo Infinite. That's been an overflow of leaks that like, honestly, like it's so much to try to keep track of, which will cover some more new leaks in this video. One thing I'm expecting to hear within this development update is campaign campaign co-op because according to the roadmap that we got for season two guys campaign network co-op should be coming around late august well we're in the last week of august and we've heard nothing about co-op my assumption is that there might be something holding the whole thing up that really makes it so they can't release it just yet this could be a reason why they went into their cocoon to try to formulate a message whether what they're planning to do for the months moving forward and it sounds like most likely if it takes this much planning that some items of the roadmap might get delayed as in like forge open beta as well as campaign co-op and some other bits of content but of course as soon as we get that information guys you know i'll share it with you guys here on this channel as soon as possible so make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date in some other halo news we recently had a big update when it comes to the master chief collection a lot of great stuff coming into this game but still some concerning bits as well but definitely some new armor sets which again like right here they look pretty awesome we have the golden moa collectibles coming to odst and halo reach a total of five new armor sets coming to Halo 2 Anniversary right here. So those five new armor sets coming to Halo 2 Anniversary are, well, one is Breach. The second one is Trooper, which kind of just makes me think of like Ant-Man for some reason with this character right here. This one is called Mega Frame. And this is the Panzer doll, which essentially kind of looks like a cross between like Gundam and Transformers. And then we have the Bioroid, which we tested out previously in Halo. The ability to change the menu background and set to any of your favorites from the past, which is a good aesthetic for sure. It looks like those poses that we flight tested for season eight before the update of season eight are actually gonna be coming into the game now. Improvements to mod tools for CE2, 3, ODST, as well as coming to Halo Reach. We have new codings coming for the assault rifle, the battle rifle, the sniper rifle, shotgun, and rocket launcher with the tie-dye, the storm, and bluing and black tiger skins. They don't state exactly when they do expect to see this update actually come into the game, but seeing all the stuff already, like screenshots and stuff like that, it should be coming around rather soon. But they also do continue on about the future of Spartan points, which were previously season, season points, now I know as Spartan points, and they do talk about microtransactions when it comes to MCC, which definitely has caused up a bit of controversy. And it said, no decision has been made around the potential of purchasable Spartan points being added to a secondary vector in the future. But with regards to Spartan point earn rate complaints and the current wall that exists upon hitting level 100, we agree with you and we are working on designs on how to address this feedback in the future. But it does look like they'll find some way for you to earn Spartan points for ranking up as well. They say right here saying Spartans will earn points from every level from tour one through 11 for 329 total points and players will retroactively receive points from levels they've already reached. So if you've played a lot of MCC and once they implement this update, then you'll be getting a bunch of free sparring points essentially that you can spend on your customization, which is gonna be awesome to see. Oh, and with that update as well, looks like they're also trying to bring back double XP weekends. And we also had some rather interesting leaks come over the weekend for Halo Infinite. Definitely want to cover that with you guys on this channel. So let's get right into it. First of the leaked voice lines for Maddie and AI come most likely coming with season three, so let's check that out. Weapons from the friggin' sky! They haven't given up yet? <sniffs> Fine. Ho <laughs> ho I've been waiting for this. An ally has slain the carrier. Defend our bomb sites, Spartan. Thrusters acquired. I knew it! I knew you were the one, Spartan! Us against all of them? Sounds like a fair fight to me. Idiot! You absolutely deserve that! Get your head in the game, Spartan! Parasite eliminated! One of us. One of us. A new spore mound is forming, readying the extraction device. Zone contested. So some lines to take note of is definitely the parasite stuff. So this could be tied into the future infection mode, most likely coming in with season three. And also the spore man we've seen looks like it be tied with extraction in some kind of way on top of that. And also the bomb extraction kind of mode. So it looks like we have some bomb defense mode. Maybe assault will be coming back as a playlist to play in Halo Infinite. Next, we have some leaked files when it comes to the Tatanka mode. That's the rumored battle royale saying they have a downstate sequence, a drop sequence right here, gear cache, 
And it seems like there's different types of operations, different objectives you can do possibly within the battle royale. There's a capture, a destroy, horde, and a supply run, as well as a pedestrian, whichever operation pedestrian could possibly be. Reward spawn, also the uh, storm boundary right here, as well as a weapon upgrade. So there might be an upgrade system when it comes to playing with the round with the weapons for this battle royale mode. This upgrade system for the weapons could be very interesting. They'd be either like attachments like you've had in previous battle royales or maybe some way to just kind of level up your gun without having to mess with a menu so much. Uh, personally, I kind of like the way like Warzone kind of does it when it comes to their weapons where they all do the same damage, but obviously you can put attachments and things like that, like that onto the weapon to make it better. It seems like these operations will be some form of objectives you can have within the mode as well to give people some other thing to do besides just kill everybody else. Again, these are leaks, but as soon as we get some more information that's concrete, you know i'll share with you guys here on the channel next we have some information or leak i should say of what looks to be the crusher that's cut content from halo if this was supposed to be like a mini boss kind of animal that would be in zeta halo for you to fight against and we've actually seen this before in official capacity in halo infinite i'm sure you guys all remember the announcement trailer from halo infinite right well check out this section right here you see a shadowy creature walk across the tent here which is absolutely a crusher you can see the same kind of horn structure that was up there as well big lumbering kind of character we originally thought this was a rhino but i think this actually might be the crusher right there which is pretty exciting stuff now this isn't really anything new to have cut characters for enemies from a game if you guys remember the flood juggernaut that was actually cut content from halo 2 this actually can be found in the game and eventually did make it into fire team raven game mode right there but you know, this isn't the first time we've seen this, but I thought it was just kind of some nice similarities where it's like this big, huge, menacing creature that we would fight against in the campaign that just didn't quite make it into the end. Next, we have some leaked information that looks to be kind of playing into what we heard about earlier, that this could have been a hero shooter for Halo Infinite. Let me show you why. This leaked video right here, which I don't know if it was necessarily leaked, but more like kind of given out, Jeff Chrissy, who used to work at 343 for multiple years, like almost a decade, showcased like this kind of like idea, kind of trailer kind of thing of what these different kind of classes classes could look like in Halo Infinite. Yeah, like the recon class. This next one here I believe is called the heavy class and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if these were more loadouts or this could be also playing into what they might have been playing around earlier of being a hero shooter in some capacity. You also see like the Promethean Vision essentially making a return right here. Which if you don't remember what I was talking about, four months ago, Jason Schreier, a very credible leaker, did talk about how he had rumors and information that they were working on a hero-based shooter system when it came to Halo Infinite. Thankfully, that whole thing was scrapped, but you can kind of see how there's so many different directional changes when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite. It probably gives you a reason why of the type of game that we got. Would you like to see a hero-based class type shooter in Halo? Let me know in the comment section down below. But could have Halo Infinite been the greatest Halo game of all time. We also have some more information when it comes to the XP progression system and potential return of Firefight. Check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.